Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in functions of set theory. So in our previous session we have seen what is a function and what are the different types of functions. So now we will see a one more category in functions that is composition of functions. Composition of function so what is meant by this composition of functions that means combining one or more number of functions together is known as composition of functions so combining two or more functions two or more functions is called as a composition so for example let us take f with a to b and g is a one more function which is from b to c okay so usually the function can be represented in this way right for example a and b are two non-empty sets then the function is represented with in this way similarly b and c are not uh, non-empty sets and function g will be represented in this way now combining these two functions is called as a composite functions so here the composition functions will be represented as f o g or g o f f of g f of g right so here how this com combination will be means the output of one function output of one function will be given as input for another function input for another function so how we are combining these two functions we are saying it as a combination so how we are combining means so this should be occur so one function output should be input for another function so the same combination can also be done with a one more function so two or more functions we are saying it as two or more functions like yes will be another function and yes will be from c to d so if you combine this one then it becomes f o g o s f o g o s f of g of s okay so this is also possible so first we will consider s will be finding one value so the output of this function will be given as an input for this one and again we will be calculating the result and that will be given as an output of i mean input of this function okay so this is how we will say the composition of functions so if you are still having any doubts don't worry so we'll solve uh, one problem so that the doubts will be clarified so let us take an example so remember these two points combination of two or more functions and output of one function will be given as input of input for another function now we'll take an example so that you will be getting an idea So for example, f of x is equal to 3x and g of x, it's a function, right? It's a 2x. Now the composite function f of g of x can be written as f of g of x. f of g of x. So similarly, how we will be writing a means f of g of x x f of g of x so first we have to calculate this one so we have to calculate g of x so what is the g of x here so g of x directly we are having a value which is a 2x so this should be given as an input for example let us take 3x plus 1 okay 3x plus 1 so if you want to give this one so this is the output and the same should be given as an input for 
f of g of x which is f of 2x so wherever we are having x we have to substitute this particular 2x in function so 3 into 2x plus 1 which becomes 6x plus 1 so f of g of x is 6x plus 1 so this is how we will be calculating the composition of functions composition of functions for example similarly we can also find g of f of x g of f of x so first we have to solve f of x and then we have to give it as an input for g of x so what is this one so f of x is 3x plus 1 so that should be given as an input for g of x so g of f of x so which is g of 3x plus 1 so what we'll be getting so whenever wherever the x is there in g that we have to substitute with 3x plus 1 g of x 2x so 2 into 3x plus 1 which becomes 6x plus 2 so this will be the result of this one g of f of x so f of g of x and g of f of x so this is how we can find the composition of functions so here we are applying two different functions right so hope you got a clarity now we'll see a few more examples for this particular composition of functions so let us take this example so here we are having two functions f of x and g of x and now we have to find f of g of x and g of f of x so this can be written as f of g of x so which is nothing but f of what is the g of x 3x minus 2 so where we have to apply 3x minus 2 in place of x of function x so 5 of 3x minus 2 plus 1 which becomes 15x minus 10 plus 1 which becomes 15x minus 9 so f of g of x is 15x minus 9 coming to this one so this can be written as g of f of x which becomes g of what is f of x 5x plus 1 5x plus 1 so which can be written as so wherever we are having x value that should be substituted with 5x plus 1 so here we are having so 3 into 5x plus 1 minus 2 which becomes 15x plus 3 minus 2 which becomes 15x plus 1 so g of f of x is 15x plus 1 right so this is a com composition of functions and here we are applying the composition between two different functions we are combining two functions right similarly you can also apply for the three functions so we'll say one more example right now let us see this example so here also we are having a two functions and now we are supposed to find f of g of 2 and f of f of 3 so here we are applying the same function multiple times okay now let us check this one so first of all, this can be written as f of g of 2 so first we have to calculate this one so what is the g of 2 g of 2 wherever x is there we have to substitute 2 so 3 into 2 plus 2 which becomes 8 so we have to substitute here f of 8 or simply i will write here g of 2 is equal to f of 8 because this becomes 8 here so which becomes now in place of a, x we have to substitute 8 in function x so x square minus 1 so 8 square minus 1 which becomes 64 minus 1 it is 63 so f of g of 2 is 63 hope you understood now we'll move on with this one so this can be written as f of f of x 
So first we have to calculate this one f of 3 is equal to f of 3 is equal to so wherever x is there we have to substitute 3 in function f. So 3 square minus 1 which becomes 8. 9 minus 1 8. Again we have to substitute the same thing f of f of x is equal to f of 8. So which becomes the same thing here 8 square minus 1 which becomes 63. So f of f of 3 also gives the same result it has a 63. So this is a one more way. So not only finding the equations we can also take the x value and we have to find out the final result. Okay here also we are combining two functions f and g and then we are calculating the solution. Now we will move on with the one more example right. Now let us see one more example. So here we are having a three different sets x, y and z. So x with the three values 1, 2, 3, y with the values p, q and z with the values a, b and here we are having some function f x tends to y that means x to y and here the function is between y to z and we are also having the functions a pair of uh, a, a set elements so 1 comma p 2 comma q and 3 comma q for function f and for function g we are having p comma b and q comma b now we are supposed to find g of f of x now let us start this one what we have to do for all x values we have to find out everything okay so here x values are having 1 2 and 3 now this can be written as g of f of x can be written as g of f of x. So whenever x is equal to 1, so you hear x is 1, 2, 3. So g of f of 1 which becomes, what is the f of 1? f of 1 is nothing but p. So you can observe the pair of elements. When x value is 1, the result is p. So g of p. Hope you understood here we are substituting for all x values 1 2 3 because here we need to find uh, the composition function for value x right so g of f of 1 right f of 1 means we have to apply, uh, check with the given function where it was 1 right so when function x is 1 the result is p so we got g of p now obviously you can see g of p in this function if uh, if input is p the result is b so obviously it will be p right so here what happens here the first pair is whenever x is equal to 1 the result is b the result is b now x is equal to 2 similarly g of f of 2 so check with the 2 if x is equal to 2 the result is q for a function f right now this becomes g of f of 2 it's a q g of q what is g of q whenever it is q the result is b so obviously it will be b then the final result will be whenever x becomes 2 the result is b 2 comma b and the third one x is equal to 3 so g of f of 3 which gives g of whenever f x value is 3 the result will be q for a function f so it will be g of q again which gives the result b only so which gives the pair when x is equal to 3 the result is b now there are no more elements so we have to stop here and now you can conclude g of f of x becomes 1 comma b similarly 2 comma b and also 3 comma b so this is the result for composition function between g and f right so I hope you understood so these are different kinds of problems we can get in the examination right so we must be very careful while uh, solving this one so but it's a very simple concept a composition just a combination right so it doesn't mean that we, we have to combine only two functions it is also possible to combine more than two functions so but the same approach we have to apply so for example let, let, let it be some h with a uh, z to p so we can get a we are supposed to find g of f of h of x what we have to do 
So this means g of f of h of x. So first this one we have to calculate and then that will be given as input for function f and the output of this one will be given as an input for this particular function. The same approach. Okay. So the output of one function will be given as an input for the another function. Yes. Yeah. So let us stop here. Hope you understood the concept and if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.